Hi everyone, welcome to Love's Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Libra. This is going to be for the first half of October. We're going to pull cards from different tarot decks. We're only using tarot cards today and see what's happening. Libra, keep in mind, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. So stick around until the end and let's see what's going on for you. Libra, first half of October. Libra, if you enjoy this kind of readings, please do press the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow and I appreciate all your support. Let's see what's happening, Libra. Hmm. Look at this. Um, you could be finding out some truth. You could be some, finding out some truth about a relationship at this time. Um, there could be some toxicity in this relationship. Or there could be some, so it feels like a very manipulative relationship here. Yeah, something that's been giving you grief already. Something that's been giving you sleepless nights and uh, worries already. So this is not some sort of happy relationship that, uh, you know, all of a sudden something comes out. I feel like this is something that you already had some sort of um, knowing about it, but you, you're getting some sort of confirmation. I feel like there is some truth coming out here. Uh, somebody who could have uh, even cheated here or lied in one way or another this is coming out and what happens from there is you moving on I see you ending this relationship with this person and I see you expanding your horizons for some of you you will decide to travel or literally physically relocate to a new um, to a new place and you're going to be very happy there I see you taking some uh, taking some time for yourself spending some time on your own and you're gonna uh, be very very happy there I'm getting this very very strongly I'm getting Getting um, a lot of um, uh, self-development. Uh, I'm getting a lot of uh, time just uh, being happy on, uh, on your own with yourself. That's what I'm getting here. But definitely an ending of some sort of toxic relationship and moving on, moving on here. That's what I see. Okay, Libra, let's move this out of the way. Let's go ahead and pull a message from a different deck. See what else comes through for you for the first half of October. Libra. King of Swords could be definitely your energy, Libra. It doesn't have to be gender specific, but it is an energy of an air sign. So you coming in very strongly in this in this reading here. You could be working on some sort of um, a new um, way of making money, new stream of money. This could be a, a job that you just recently started here. And I feel like um, there is a lot of uh, energy of this um, going either too slow, that you, uh, slower than you expected, too slow, uh, or possibly not bringing you the, the actual a financial results that you expected here there is some disappointment uh, there's a lot of burdens here it feels like a lot of work and not enough rewards that's what i'm getting here well i do see a breakthrough there is a breakthrough the ace of swords is a breakthrough and kept together with the king of pentacles which is financial stability here which is being very resourceful in finances so uh, this is what's ha uh, happening and what's coming up in the first half of october i feel like there is a turnaround with this project of yours whatever this you'll be doing here and whatever you'll be doing for some of you this is something that you've been working on by yourself not with a team but on your own this is like your own idea your own creative project here and it uh, took a lot of investment i'm getting that it took a lot of investment of money time and effort and it's been burdensome to carry all of this on your own and i feel like because it's been going so slow or maybe not even taking off the ground there were quite a few disappointments involved here there is a breakthrough there is a breakthrough that is coming out it's almost kind of re resurrection energy here and uh, you will come out stronger with this there will be financial benefits that come out of it in the end that's what i see Okay, Libra, let's pull another message from a different deck. Let's see what else comes through for you for the first half of October. Libra, first half of October. All of this, okay. We have a 
Bath Energy here, Knight of Pentacles. Some of you are ending a relationship with the Earth sign. This could definitely be that um, Capricorn energy, yeah, ending of, uh, ending of relationship with the Earth sign. I see this very strongly for you here. So it could be definitely a Capricorn, it could be also a Virgo. Um, Capricorn Virgo standing out very strong to me here. Could be a Taurus as well, but what I see is something that the relationship that um, you put quite a bit of effort uh, in. I feel like you were trying to make it work, but it just doesn't, and it's coming to an end here. Uh, this person could have been uh, a little bit uh, slow, slow for the progress, slow to move forward, and you wanted progression, you wanted to uh, move towards commitment here. And I feel like now you're ending this relationship and you're just moving uh, quickly to in a different direction. You could be moving towards somebody else here somebody else could be coming into your energy that you don't even expect and i feel like this person is gonna be completely different they will be moving very quickly could be um, a water sign libra could be a water sign specifically a cancer coming your way also scorpio standing out very strongly here but i am getting a very strong energy we've seen this message for you before i know it's a repeat and it's coming through again it's an ending of a relationship that just wasn't moving forward wasn't uh, was taking a lot of work i feel like it felt more like work than actually a, a love relationship here and the person that you were connected to they could have been very focused on their financial stability at this time and not necessarily investing much effort in the relationship and i feel like you're taking an alternative way you're going in a different direction that's what i see there libra all right let's pull a message from light series tarot let's see what else is happening in the first half of october what's going on for libra please? libra first half of october the tower an unexpected change an unexpected visit a blast from a past i'm getting that here very strongly here this could be um, somebody from your past that uh, the relationship kind of started and ended before you even went anywhere. You know, kind of um, almost I'm getting an energy of false start here. Um, I feel like you've been thinking about this person quite a bit though. They kind of um, made a mark on your, uh, um, on you. Um, I feel like uh, this person is um, unexpectedly returning or wanted to return. Um, it seemed to me like this person is somebody who, like I said, they made a mark on you. I feel like for a while you've been waiting for this person to come towards you, but they were um, either not showing up or just being really slow in, in making a move here. But uh, it does feel like uh, this time around they want to come back for commitment here. Uh, this person could have been um, um, away because they had to uh, because they had to move away for work. I'm getting that energy here. If that's the case, I do see them coming back, returning. I do feel that they financially they're doing pretty well for themselves. They could have been working and promoting their own business somewhere, and that's why they had to travel quite a bit. If that's the case, I see their business taking off, and I do feel that they will be moving closer to you. It's an unexpected return and resurrection of a relationship relationship that once ended and like I said it feels like this is energy that it wasn't like a long-term relationship and then you broke up it feels like it almost didn't take off the ground to the point to become an established relationship there this time around they're coming in for commitment the choice will be yours Libra what you want to do if you want to accept this person or not could be a nurse sign could be also a Scorpio here Earth sign being um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, let's move this out of the way. You will know this is your situation if you have a person like that in your life. Let's go ahead and move one last um, pull one last message from Everyday Tarot. Let's see what comes up for you here. Seven of Cups. High Priestess. Uh, 
You, yeah, you're kind of indecisive here. You have a lot to think about when it comes to romantic relationship here. I feel like you have some options. You have several people um, around you and uh, it does feel like um, it's almost kind of like a competition for your uh, for your energy a competition for um your love here getting this strongly look at this you're right in the middle of it a uh, lot of libra energy here you are the one making a decision here that's the important part i do feel that there are several people around you that um wants like i said want to date you want your attention but it feels to me like in the end it's between two there's two people that are most significant to you here that you will be choosing in between um it does feel like um, there could be one of this uh, um one of those people that um uh, uh, that you already know that you're familiar with and there could be also somebody new that is coming in i know it's you know it's kind of a almost a cliche coming through here but that's what's coming through i feel like there's one of these people that um you know already they might be uh, even familiar with your family they could be um they could be they could know your friends here you could know them through work here but there's another person there's two people that will stand out and the, this other person is new somebody who's who you don't know yet um somebody who uh, is just entering your energy and what's significant about this person they're going to move really really fast and it does feel like somebody that is um <laughs> gonna almost shake up your world but there is also this past person again the scorpio energy is coming through very strongly here that will unexpectedly uh, unexpectedly return i'm getting those two standing out here for you when it comes to love life it does feel like um this person from the past there is something about it there is a not a lot of conversation needed it feels like there is a lot of things that are kind of hidden not discussed and if you do want to make this work it needs to be from both sides i do feel that that person wants to make it work and they they are willing this time around to put effort into this relationship but the choice will be yours and i see you kind of being in between two you're weighing your options here and there is two that are very significant two that will be very significant here for you um i can say that this new person they know exactly what they want um i feel like uh, they want you <laughs> Um, and I do feel that uh, this uh, this relationship will feel very fresh. It's fresh in a way that refreshing, different, and uh, moving quickly. Um, a lot of emotions involved. Um, a lot of care, caring energy is coming through from this, and it's going to be refreshing and nice, and it's going to feel good. Uh, but this person from the past is somebody who uh, really made a mark on you. I feel like, um, uh, you know. This is the person that uh, you think about it quite a lot. And I do feel that um, if you decide to give it a chance and work on it, there is a chance that this is going to actually work out for you. These are the energies, Libra. These are the messages that came through for you today. I know there were some repetitive messages here, but, uh, you know, the energies uh, came through the way they had to and there were a lot of confirmations in this reading i hope it was helpful i do hope this reading um you found something in here that um was meant to be for you thank you so much for spending your time with me bye for now